should be socks left lying around. Is it some message? Why does my lodger keep doing this? What does it mean? You finished all the porridge. I couldn't find any bread. Um, once upon a time there was an old woman who lived in a shoe, mainly because she couldn't get on the housing ladder. Okay, not brilliant. Keep trying. Can't get away from bloody fairy tales nowadays, can we? Excuse me, love. <sighs> I know you wouldn't believe this to look at me now, but I used to be a child. I shouldn't really say this, but my parents thought stories about the mad human psyche and the mutterings of insane people disguised as cuddly bedtime stories were appropriate to send me to sleep. Well, they were wrong. It made me wet myself. Now it seems someone else is intent on making me need the plastic sheets again. This modern take on Hansel and Gretel, named Hansel and Gretel Witch Hunters, because... Me and my sister, we almost died at the hands of a witch. We'd gotten a taste of blood. Which blood? That just about covers it. Having shoved one in the oven when they were noshing on their bungalow 20 years ago, they've grown up with a massive chip on their shoulder towards anything witch-like. I wouldn't let anyone eat my house. I just wouldn't. I've just had the lavery tile for a start and they're doing the guttering this afternoon, so not going to happen. What some cinema bigwig has done is taken the story everyone loved as a kid and basically nicked it so those same kids who are now grown up will love it again. You see, fairy tales have become the new for the film industry. Jack and the Beanstalk, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, they're all cashing in. Finished, have you? Another tired fairy tale, is it? Good, Hollywood will love it. Usual fee, three milk teeth and a molar. You're robbing me blind, woman. There are a fair few films inspired, or nicked, if you like, from children's tales, some more surprising than others. Pretty Woman was a Cinderella update. This hit comedy started out as a depressing tale about drug takers and ladies of the night. Freeway was a twist on Little Red Riding Hood, with Little Red Riding Hood as a teenage delinquent and the Big Bad Wolf as a serial killer called Bob Warferton. See what they've done there? If you thought that was weird, this is a real horror movie. The Ginger Dead Man. Believe it or not, this is a spin-off of The Gingerbread Man. Run, run, run as fast as you can, it's The Ginger Dead Man. I know fairy tales are knackered, but they're still useful, you know, because they're cautionary tales. So instead of saying to kids, don't run in the road, you can say things like, stay on the path or the big bad bear will get you. Bit weird, isn't it? Oi! Sorry, I meant wolf. Calm down. Fairy tales are scary tales. They scare the childhood out of you. you know, I bet these gingerbread men, this bugger still scares the cheese out of you. And the only thing that could save them was laughter and music. Yeah, and a shotgun. You hit you the gutter in? Where's your brother? His ass blew down. Oh dear. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.